hi dolls so i'm back and this is going to be a makeup tutorial and get ready with me um i did do my hair separately in a different video because i wanted to break down everything and kind of just have that video separate so there is a video on the hair as well but it's just not in this video so i do show you dolls my outfit as well as my makeup how to get this look if you dolls want to see that then keep on watching and yeah Okay, so to start off with, I'm going into the Visor Dark Matte Palette. I'm going to be switching back and forth between the Dark Matte and the Neutral Matte Palette. So those are all of the matte colors that I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to be using a lot of the orangey tones in the palettes and then a few of the brown colors and some of the ones that look kind of like orange red tones. And then I'm also using one of the cream colors to set my brow bone highlight so basically i'm just using these two palettes throughout the tutorial and you dolls know how i do this i just start off with the crease i build up the orange color a bit and then i put down my brow bone highlight and then i'm going to blend that out then i'm going to start deepening up the crease even more to get that orange nice and vibrant and just building up the color over and over and blending it of course So then I'm taking some brown and just building that in the crease as well. Then I'm adding a deeper brown color. This one has a little bit more of a red undertone. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease or clean off my lid space. And I'm just using a concealer to do this. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer so that we can get ready to apply our pigment down. So after I do that, I'm gonna just go ahead and use one of those orangey tones and just blend out the concealer on the edge. And then I'm gonna take another brown color and work that in the crease, just intensifying it even more, which you do wanna do that before you actually cut your crease, but I went back and did it again, but now I'm applying some glitter glue. I didn't show it on camera, but I used the Too Faced one. And then I'm gonna be taking this stack from Mayo Makeup or Mayo Cosmetics. I can't remember, I've had this forever, but their pigments are really nice. So I'm just taking the yellow color and I'm just gonna build it up until I get the color that I want. It does have some fallout, so of course, you know, do your face makeup last, which it is a pigment, so it's loose powder. So then I'm just going to use another orangey color and just blend the edge of that. And then I'm going to clean it up with a baby wipe and just clean up all that fallout so that I'm not applying my foundation over it. And then I'm going to be using my Inglot number 77 gel liner with my Duraline, of course, and just make my wing nice and sharp. Try to kind of show you dolls how I do my wing. It's really hard to do it on camera. So once you get your wing nice and fleeky, then we can move on to putting on our mascara and lashes. So for our mascara, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Six. This mascara is bomb. I've been loving it for quite a while now. And then I'm going to be using the Coco Lashes in the style Queen B. And these were previously used, which is why they're not in a box. So this is how the lashes look. And then to prep the face, I'm starting off with my Clinique Smart Oil. And I'm just going to blend that in. And then I'll go in with the primer on top of it. I like to use the oil first a lot of times because it really moisturizes my skin. Because sometimes I do have dry patches. So just blend that in really good. And then for the primer that I'm gonna be using, this is by Becca, and it's the one that kinda of has that luminescence to it. I can't remember the name of it, but it gives you a nice glow. You can also use this alone without foundation. Now for my foundation, I am using the Make Up Forever Stick Foundation. As you can see, I grabbed my lighter one, not the one that matches my skin better. I grabbed the wrong one, so I'm just going to make it darker by using a darker foundation. This one is by MAC, and it's the Face and Body. And then I'm gonna blend it together because usually I use my Makeup Forever sticks. I have two different colors and I mix them together and I accidentally used the lighter one. So 
yeah then I'm gonna do my under eye concealer and I'm just using the LA girl pro conceal I believe this one is in creamy beige that's the color I usually use under my eyes sometimes I use pure beige I believe but I really like creamy beige because it's brighter so I'm just gonna place this under my eyes down the bridge of my nose a little bit on my forehead and I believe on my chin yeah a little bit on my chin and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender and this I didn't go through all the steps because I do have a foundation routine if you guys want to see step by step I will link it down below and then I'm gonna set with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I love this sponge for setting it's from MAC and once I have all my powder on and I'm looking crazy I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face with my MAC MSF I believe the color is medium dark or deep dark it's probably not deep dark I can't remember what it is but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and place it all over the face and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the powder I will try to put all the products down below as well as the colors that I'm using for you dolls well not the palettes because I don't think these colors have names so yeah you just have to go off of which one I'm actually using in the palette because they don't have names but I'm just using the orange color and then some brown on my lower lash line just to match up with the top part I didn't put any yellow on my lower lash line today I just wanted to keep it a little bit more simple since the top is so bright and then I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Aqualine liner on my waterline then I'm going to put on some mascara and then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever bronzer and this one is in 03 I believe and this one is matte it doesn't have shimmer to it but it's really nice it gives your skin a nice healthy bronze look so I really love this bronzer and I'm also going to use it a little bit on the nose I like to bronze more than contour which I use my bronzer like a contour because I prefer warmer tones and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush. I'm using MAC Blush in Peaches. It looks really washed out in the camera, but it's a really nice light orange color. And I'm just going to apply that to the cheeks. And then I'm going to take a throwback highlighter. This is the NARS highlighter in, what is it called, Albatross. So yeah, I'm going to use that. To highlight with and then I'm gonna take a smaller brush and apply it again because this really helps to intensify it even more I'm gonna apply some down my nose and then I'm also going to apply it in my tear duct area so I'm just gonna pack it on to the tear duct area and as you can see I'm going over it quite a bit because it wasn't building up to the intensity that I wanted it to be so I'm going to actually go on top with another highlighter just to get it as bright and popping as I want it to be. This one is an Illuminizer by Anastasia and I believe it's called Star something. I cannot remember but then I'm going to go ahead and set the face and then I'm going to do the lips. I'm doing this voiceover at like 1 o'clock in the morning so bear with me dolls. I'm trying to get this video up for you dolls. So I'm just using Royal Lip Pencil by MAC. And then for the lipstick, I have no clue what I use, but I know it's a super light color. It may be myth or cream de nude or something that's just really, really light. So I'm just going to place that on the lips and then I'm going to go back in with the lip pencil to make it more of an ombre type of look. And then of course, you know, I'm going to put a gloss on top because it just wouldn't be me if I didn't put a gloss on. And look at me using the pencil the wrong way. And the lip gloss that I'm using is by Buxom, and I believe it is in Peach something. <laughs> I don't know what the name of anything is right now, but yeah, it's a really pretty peachy color. I think it's called Pink Peach Daiquiri or Peach Bellini or something like that. So yeah, that's it for the look, dolls. So I hope you dolls enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. Yeah, this is the completed look. Watch me pose. Yes, yes, yes. I love you dolls. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the outfit. Okay, dolls. So this is the completed look. I hope you dolls enjoyed this video.
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, dolls.